Hello everyone, welcome back to Creation is Cool. We're nearing the end of our 12 days of Christmas countdown, so let's get started. On the 11th day of Christmas, the Creator gave to me 11 pipers piping. Meet the sandpiper. Sandpipers are small shorebirds that can be spotted on the shores of beaches, lakes, and riverbeds. In fact, you might even recognize them from the Disney short Piper. Just like in the short, sandpipers like to spend their time foraging in the wet sandbanks. As they look for food, they often follow the flow of the waves to snatch up any tasty foods the water uncovers. Like many other birds, sandpipers like to gather in large flocks. And when we say large, we mean that species of sandpipers gather in flocks that number in the hundreds and even in the thousands. It may seem like they just enjoy foraging with friends, but flocking together is actually one of the ways that they protect themselves. How does flocking together help protect them, you ask? Well, imagine you're strolling along the beaches of California. At the water's edge are a large group of sandpipers just minding their own business. All of a sudden, the birds start making a high-pitched piping sound. You look up and see what has disturbed the peace a predatory peregrine falcon soaring right above the group of birds. As the falcon soars closer to the flock of sandpipers, they suddenly all take to the air. The sandpipers scatter in every direction, not maintaining a straight line while in flight. The flock's flying flurry makes it difficult for the falcon to pick a single bird to target, and a large number of birds only adds to the confusion. The flock's large numbers also add to the number of eyes keeping watch on the predator, allowing them to be on guard for the falcon's every move. With the confusion coming from the large flock, the falcon decides to find other prey for the day. But for the sandpipers, their large numbers mean crisis averted. The large flocks of sandpipers really show what it means to have strength in numbers. And you know, Michelle, that reminds me about how Christians are not meant to be alone, but rather we too are to be with other believers in Christ. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 25 to 27 reminds us, so that there may be no division in the body, but that the members may have the same care for one another. And if one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. If one member is honored, all the members rejoice with it. Now you are Christ's body and individually members of it. This verse reminds us that as Christians, we are to be Christ's body, actively engaging with other Christians in our local church body. By doing so, we get to experience God's blessings of providing us the church for fellowship, encouragement, exhortation, and correction, as well as to be able to show godly love and care for others in the church. What a blessing that God has given us the local church body to walk alongside with, because life would definitely be so much harder to love and obey our Savior Jesus Christ without them. That about wraps it up for today, but we hope that you are encouraged to take some time to spend with your local church body this Christmas season. It truly is a blessing given by God, just like the protection the sandpipers have from their creator. We hope that you all can praise God for his design of sandpiper flocks and the blessing of the church body, because creation is cool, but our creator is even cooler. We'll see you next time.